Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will be showing you how to use the list bots control using Power Apps. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So let us start our session for the day. So first of all, you have to enter the URL that is mate.powerapps.com and then press enter. So once you press enter, you will be redirected to the home page of the Power Apps. So once you are redirected to the home page of the Power Apps, so over here you need to click on this create button. So once you click on the create button, you will be redirected to another screen and from here you need to select the blank application. So once you select the blank application, then uh, then the various list of uh, screens, uh, then the various list of screens will be available that you can create. So first first option is that is whether uh, first option is that is you can create the blank canvas application. The next option that you have is is to create a blank application on the basis of the dataverse. And the third option and the final option that you have is is to create the power page website. So I will be creating the blank canvas application. So click on the create button under the blank canvas application and give the name to your application as list bots. So once you give the name to your application, you need to select whether you need to create this application for the from the tablet point of view or from the phone point of view. So I will be selecting the tablet uh, format and then I will click on the create button. So once you click on the create button, the workspace area will be open. So let us wait for the workspace area to be open so that it, so that we can start using the list bots control. So as you can see the workspace area has been added. So now in order to add the list bots control, click on this insert drop down and then select this input uh, arrow and then click on the list bots. So once you click on the list bots, you can see the list bots control will be added. So over here, if you see that for the list bots, the default items that it contains is one two three so if you run the application uh, as as it is so you will see that there are three items which are contained is in this list box that is one two and three so now in order to add your own data into the list box so what you need to do is select this list box control and on the items action remove this list box sample and define your list as put the uh, put the brackets that is and then over here define the uh, define your uh, elements that you want to show in your list box so this is the static list box that we are creating so in the next part i will be showing you how to create a dynamic list box so over here i will be adding the list elements or list items as country names so for the time being i am adding the three uh, three elements in the list box or three items in the list box so now if you run and uh, so now if you run the application you will be shown this three uh, items under the list bots control so now in order to get the total count of the list bots the the thing that you have to do is so in order to retrieve the total item count after selection the steps that we have to follow is are as follows so first of all from the insert drop down drag and drop the text label element so once you drag and drop the text label element so drag and uh, so drag and drop it to the right and give the text that is total item round after selection is and we will pass in the list bots element that is list bots one dot 
selected items so now so we will expand this area a bit so over here we will make one more change that is so over here we will put it round rows and then we will pass in the uh, list box element so also you need to expand the area a bit so that you can see the total uh, so that you can see the text that we have written so over here what we will do is we will use round rows and we will pass in the bracket and we will pass in we will pass in list bots one dot selected items and then we will close the bracket so now so over here what you have to do is again so over here you need to pass in the m percent and then uh, and then give this count rows list bots one dot selected items so now what we will do is we will pass uh, or we will uh, we will run this application first and we will see what is the count that we are getting so after inserting or after writing the code first save the application and then after the application is saved we will run the application in order to see whether we are getting the correct count or not so in order to run the uh, application click on the play button and then select the item from the list box so yeah so if you see on upon selecting the one item the count that we are getting is one if we if we select another item the count will increase and then if we select the third and the final item so we will get the total item count as 3 so this is how you can use the uh, or this is how you can retrieve the total count after selecting the items from the list box so in order to add dynamic elements to the list box control we will have to add two more controls first so in order to add those controls we will again click on the insert drop down and then over here we will click on the text input as we will take the input from this text input uh, uh, text box that we have inserted so over here enter the default text as enter your country name and or enter your text and then we will add one more button and then we will add one more control that is button so click on the button control from the insert drop down and then give the text to your button as add item and now once the button control is added then on the items property of list box control you have to write that is distinct test selection comma value So once you enter this, so after adding the formula on the list box control that is distinct test selection comma value. So on the button on select property, you have to add another formula that is select select and then test selection comma filter, then text input to dot text comma and not is blank value means it should not contain any blank. So now, what, so now what we will do is we will save this application and we will run the application in order to see whether the t uh, whether we are getting the correct output or not. So on this, uh, so in order to see the application run, click on this run button. And then over here, I will add an I will add the text as India, and then it will add India and then we will add another text that is inland so it will add inland to the list so this is how you can add dynamic element or dynamic item to the list box so now so now we will discuss 
the functions or the methods that we have used in these two list bots and the add item so that is what what this distinct and what this relate method does so first of all we will discuss about the distinct method so distinct method is basically used to remove the duplicate so if you add duplicate it will not allow you to add the duplicate values so suppose let us again run this application and we will add inland again so see it so it has not added inland again on the third on the third position so basically distinct is used to restrict your uh, items to the unique elements so now in the next section we will discuss what is the use of collect method so let us discuss what is the use of collect method or the collect function the collect function is used to add the record to the data source the items that can be added to the data source can be a single value a record or a table so if you are trying to insert a single value so in the value field of a new record you have to place the value and all other properties of it should be left blank if you are if you are trying to insert a record then the each name property should be placed in the corresponding property of the new record and other properties should be left blank and if you are trying to insert a table if you are trying to insert a table then each record of the table should be added as a separate record of the data source as mentioned above and you cannot insert or add a nested table to a record so in order to do in order to perform this operation you have to wrap the table as a record first so these are the uses or these are the this is the main function of the collect method that is it is basically used to add the records to the data source so with that we have come to the end of our video discussion wherein we discussed how to use listbots control element in power apps so if you have any queries regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all your queries so before we wind up our session for the day i request every one of you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our youtube channel thank you all and have a great day